How do I explain somatic referred pain to someone with back pain? Let's unpack somatic referred pain for a moment. Somatic referred pain is the pain that occurs from the nociceptive stimulation of structures that do not involve nerve tissues, such as nerve roots. So any structure in the lower back, such as discs, joints, ligaments, and muscles. The pain is usually dull, aching, and is relatively hard to localize. The pain can also be quite widespread, going outside normal tissue boundaries and also dermatomal distributions. But unlike central sensitization, it will tend to stay in relatively fixed locations, meaning the pain is usually felt in the same places consistently. Most commonly in low back pain, somatic referred pain will be experienced into the buttocks and into the thighs and sometimes into the front as well. Although many patients assume that the pain is coming from all of the areas that they are experiencing it, it can be helpful to localize for them where the source of the symptoms are. This can help reinforce things that are likely to help them, like moving their lower back, repositioning frequently, and other strategies. And it can help the patient make sense of things like manual therapy being performed in a really localized spot. Often people ask, if my back is the problem, how come so much pain is felt further down, such as into the buttocks or upper legs? This can be helpful to mention how somatic referred pain works in a way the patient understands. The nerves that branch from the lower back and those coming from the buttocks and legs send signals to the same brain cells and same part of the brain. As a result, the brain cannot isolate the source of the pain very well at all. This means when the pain messages reach the brain, it is felt in a much wider area than just the lower back as the brain tries to decipher where the symptoms are. We expect that as the condition improves, so will the referred pain and you might even notice the symptoms becoming more localized to the lower back as it improves. So in summary, it helps to explain somatic referred pain in a way the patient understands so that they can better understand their pain and how to manage it more effectively.